and the bass keeps running, running, and running, running. And the basic, the basic uh, circuit is called a series circuit. And in a series circuit, like this one, we have several resistors and they're lined up. How many people have had Christmas lights before that when one bulb goes out, they all go out? This would be this, an example of that. Here's a bulb, there's a bulb, there's a bulb, there's a bulb. If any of the elements burn out or the wire in between, we have, we have zero resistance between the beginning and the end, okay? <clears throat> if, if our break is, is anywhere in there, we're gonna stop the flow of electricity. That's a series circuit. And sometimes in the electronics world, they use series circuits, but I want you in my class to almost completely forget about series circuits because we do nothing with series circuits unless we have normally closed inline safety switches. And so they are not a, they are not a resistor. They're not a user of power. They, they just pass power through them. So, so from now on, after we finish talking about series circuits, I want you to want my guys to just forget about it because we'll never use it again. Okay, but let's do the math on this. The mat, in Ohm's law, we've got voltage over amps equals resistance, voltage over resistance, or divided by resistance equals amps. Um, here's, here's a resistor that's 20 ohms. Here's a resistor that's 10 ohms. Here's a resistor that's 25 ohms. And here's a resistor that's 15 ohms. In series, you can add all those resistors together and find out what the amperage is. We don't know what the current is right now. We can find the current by taking the, the voltage, which is 12 volts, and we divide that by the 70 ohms of resistance. And when you do that, if anybody wants to do the math on their phone, just to make sure I'm right, if you divide 12 by 70, you're probably gonna get about 1.7 amps. I've already done the math on it, okay? If we knew what the amps were, because we could put a meter on amps and we could clamp it around that wire, and this, your meter is gonna tell you what the amperage is. If you, can't, if you can't find the resistance, because you can't shut the circuit down to, to check the resistance, you should be able to divide the voltage by whatever your amperage was on your meter, and it will tell you how much resistance you have, okay? Can somebody tell me why, why we even care about how much amps we're drawing? Especially in the HVAC world? Because it's a load. Because it's a load, and what happens if the load becomes too great? It'll burn something out. Trip the breaker, right? Or or possibly if the breaker is defective, you know, it could possibly heat up the wire to the point to where it's a safety hazard. But, um, so that's why we always want to know what the amperage is. If we put a motor, if we, if we add a motor to a circuit that's never had it before, we better make sure that we have plenty of space for that many more amps on that circuit, or it's just gonna trip the breaker almost right away, okay? All right, now, that's a series circuit. 